Hi my dear students, in this video we are going to solve numerical 1 on torque. How they will ask you questions on torque? Let's see first of all the question. What is the question here? A three phase 50 hedge 6 pole induction machine runs at 940 rpm this is rotating it 940 rpm and delivers 7 kilowatts of output 7 kilowatts of output what starting torque will the motor develop what is that what starting torque will the motor develop when switched directly onto the supply when my motor directly onto the supply then what is the starting torque what is the data if maximum torque developed at 800 rpm where the maximum torque developed here at 800 rpm the maximum torque is developing the friction and windage losses also they give at uh, 840 watts so let's uh, go for solution so what is the formula for this actually this is a very different problem that's why i picked this one generally we know the formula for starting torque to the maximum torque what is this formula 2 smt upon 1 plus smt square this is the starting torque to the maximum torque formula of course we know the full load torque to the maximum torque formula also 2 s full load smt upon s full load square plus smt square this is also formula we know but what they asked here they need a starting torque what is the starting torque of course they given full load torque details of course we can find the full load torque some x newton meters so i have a full load torque i have to find a starting torque sir there is no full load torque in my question you have to calculate full load torque first of all of course there is no possibility to find the maximum torque right sir if you calculate some x newton meters of uh, full load torque then what is the starting torque so it's very difficult actually so we have to conclude that one if you take like this if you take like this then what happens sir the maximum torque maximum torque gets cancelled then the starting torque to the full load torque is equals to tell me sir 2 2 smt smt gets cancelled so s full load square plus smt square upon upon what is there already s is there s full load of 1 plus smt square this is the formula we derived now really a great formula we have to think this much then only you will get the answer okay sir so let's go for what is s full load here s full load calculate s full load s full load is equals to before that what is ns the synchronous speed ns is equals to 120 f of p so these two gets cancelled so the ns is equals to 1000 rpm generally we know this now s full load is equals to ns minus nr out of ns nothing but 60 out of 1000 nothing but 6 by 100 so 6 percent is slip at full load what about slip at maximum torque the slip at maximum torque is equals to 1000 ns minus nr upon 1000 because at maximum torque the rotor speed they given 800 rpm so so this is the 200 out of 1000 
which is nothing but 20% of slip at maximum torque. So, I got S full load and uh, SMT. S full load, SMT clear. So, now we have to find this one. Torque at full load. Generally, the formula, the power output is equals to 2 pi n t by 60. This is the formula actually. P output is equal to 2 pi n t by 60. We have to find out torque T. Torque T is equals to torque T is equals to power output of 60 upon 2 pi and the rotor speed at full load 940 rpm. But we have to calculate power output also. Actually, this is we have to take a rotor output. But they given the machine output, right? The machine output of uh, 7000. One, see here. Actually, is like this. Here the output is 7000 watts. But the mechanical losses they given 840 watts. Then what is the power developed by my rotor? The power developed by my rotor is 7000 plus 840, 7840 watts. This is the power which related to torque. This is the power which is synchronous watts. Shaft power, where the torque will rotate, where the torque will develop. So we have to take this much. So 7840 of 60 upon 2 into 3.14 into 940 if you calculate all those things if you cancel all those things you will get an answer 79.645 newton meter 79.645 newton meter this is what the full load torque of my machine Full load torque of my machine, sir. This is one. So now substitute all the values here. Substitute all the values here. My full load torque is 79.645 Newton meters. My full load slip is 6%. My full load slip is 6%. My slip at maximum torque is 20%. Slip at maximum torque is 20%. Again, full load slip is 6%. And again, slip at maximum torque is 20%. So, this is, we have to calculate. So, once calculate, sir, this is calculate. So, do the calculation. Starting torque is equals to 79.645 of of yeah 6 square 36 200 square 20 square 400 20 square 400 6 square 36 436 out of 10,000 yes or no guys this is the numerator what about denominator this is 6 out of 100 of this is 10,000 10,400 10,400 upon 10,000 10,400 upon 10,000 this is generally so calculate it 100 square is the 10,000 20 square is the 400 that's why so 10,000 10,000 gets cancelled this 100 100 gets cancelled so finally what is the answer 79.645 of of 436 out of out of 624 so if you calculate this one you will get the starting torque is equals to actually denominator more than numerator so the value is less than this much so mostly if you calculate completely you will get an answer of 
55.65 newton meters this is the starting torque developed by my machine very simple question here the highlight of this problem is this formula if you know this formula you will get another formula what is another formula the power output the rotor power output is equals to 2 pi rotor speed by 60 rotor speed by 60 this is the formula highlight for this problem when you know these two values you will get problem easily okay guys got it right sir